Have you ever tried to upload a video to Twitter and failed? Today I'll show you how to get around that issue. Hi, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter and I probably don't have to introduce you Twitter, the giant social media platform. It's very popular across the globe and video content is also blooming on the site. According to researchers, videos on Twitter tend to get more retweets than tweets containing images or GIFs. However, video format requirements are very strict, most likely because they somehow want to filter out trash videos and videos with absolutely no value. If you bump into an error message, it could be due to one of these reasons. Poor network connection, corrupt video file or unsupported video format. First of all, let's see the formats that Twitter does support. Here you can see that Twitter only accepts MP4 or MOV. Furthermore, the video codec and audio codec needs to be H.264 and ACC. The maximum length is 140 seconds, which is 2 minutes and 20 seconds. I recommend that you pause the video and read the chart carefully. If you still can't decide what the issue might be, keep watching and I break it down for you to three solutions. If it says that your media file could not be processed, it's because you're using the wrong audio and video codec. There is only one good solution here, which is H.264 ACC. If you're using anything else, it won't work. What you'll have to do in this case is to convert your video. You can easily do this in the Wondershare Uniconverter. Let me show you how. First of all, open up the Uniconverter and go to the converter. You can see here that this is an AVI file, it's pretty large compared to its length. By clicking over here, you can select the output format, which needs to be either MP4 or MOV. After that, click on the settings button right over here, where you can customize different attributes of the output format. Within this menu, you can make sure that your video encoder is H.264, as well as customizing other video settings such as frame rate, resolution, or bitrate. And as an other very important step, you can also make sure that your audio encoder is ACC and not something else. And then you can set different audio settings here as well. If you have the high-speed conversion mode turned on up here, the process will be much, much faster, so give it a try. Learn more about the high-speed conversion mode in this video. And after you set up everything, just click Start All. When the conversion is done, you can right-click on the file and Get Info, and here you can see that now it's in H.264 and ACC. If the error message is your video file is not compatible, it means that the video you try to upload is too long. You must shorten the video and keep it within Twitter's maximum length of 140 seconds. You can also do this in the Wondershare Uniconverter. Once again, open up the Uniconverter and go to the converter again. This time, we're gonna get use of the editing functions of the Uniconverter. And I'm just gonna trim the video down to exactly two minutes. You can learn more about editing in the Uniconverter in this video, but just in a nutshell, you can give the video a different aspect ratio by cropping it, but keep the video requirements in mind for Twitter. You can also set brightness, contrast, saturation, add different effects, and also mess around with audio settings, but in this case, we don't need to do anything about that because this video has no audio. And once again, you can turn on the high-speed conversion mode. And if you set up everything, just click Start All. And lastly, if you get some of your media failed to load, it means that your video is in a higher resolution than Twitter's highest accepted, which is 1920 by 1200. Open up the Uniconverter, but this time go to the video compressor. As this video is in 4K, we need to drop the resolution to Full HD. So here select 1920 by 1080 I'm gonna bump the resolution up a little bit and I'm gonna select the bitrate to be variable bitrate, which will result in a higher resolution with a smaller file size. And when I'm done with all the settings, I'm just gonna hit Start All. So there you go, I hope from now on you'll be able to easily upload videos to Twitter and in case it fails, 
you'll be able to solve the issue. But that was the video for today, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask us in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed. With that being said, thank you for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video.